What's up guys, Twintuitive717 back with the Bossy Beeves, and we're gonna dive right into some messages from the Divine Masculines. Uh, maybe it's the title of the reading that's already resonating with you. Um, the messages and the cards will help to validate your intuition. These are gonna be things that you've already been picking up with the Divine Masculine Collective. You're a Divine Masculine even through telepathy. Maybe sometimes your dreams will tell you certain things, just certain synchronicities around the situation between you and your masculine. Um, it'll often pop out and, and that way you know it's a divine message for you because it'll stand out. It'll make you do that double take, you know, like, huh? Okay, wait a second. This is not a coincidence. So let's get to the messages in the card, okay? So don't be fooled by my karmic and we have provocation, okay? So someone's karmic could be trying to provoke you. This could be through social media. Um, if some of you are mutual friends, for example, with your divine masculine and the karmic partner and then you guys are you have no choice basically but to uh like gather together um this could be at like let's say for example like your kids birthday parties or um like mutual friends outings maybe you have friends that hang out together and you guys are at the bar or whatever and you see them with their karmic something about the karmic knows about you divine feminine um they might be aware that you and your masculine uh, either are in communication or have communicated about your deep feelings for one another but obviously there may be obstacles in the way so you try to keep your distance from your divine masculine but this could be a karmic that they have their thumb on this divine masculine okay they will look through their masculine's phone they will want to know every single thing about what this masculine has going on so they know about you okay so don't be fooled by them trying to provoke you i feel like what your masculines want you to know here see you're always in my search history um is that like they're focused on you okay they can't stop thinking about you they may feel like it's driving them insane a little bit that i feel like they feel stuck and that's what's driving them insane okay but they can't stop looking at you and i feel like the conundrum that a lot of your masculines are facing here is they're already in another relationship and i feel like this person has latched on even more to them since since you stepped into the picture or maybe since you and your divine masculine realize that there's maybe more to this just casual friendship like maybe you guys are realizing that wait a second i've been harboring feelings for my counterpart for a really long time and now it's it's kind of there it's out in the open a little bit here okay you guys are being found out maybe by this karmic person i don't know if they're talking to other people as well about what it is they know um but I'm hearing don't be fooled or triggered by that because the thing is is like another channeled message I've been getting is like with twin flames divine masculine divine feminine um like union means in, to be in harmony with one another okay it doesn't actually mean to be in a physical relationship with one another union means to be in harmony with one another and oftentimes I find with the karmic situations it really is aggravating to them that the twin flames can be in harmony because it does trigger lower vibrational emotions such as jealousy and possessiveness and all that rude stuff that make relationships um, toxic sometimes um, is what twin flames are really here to address and, and really trigger not only within you and your masculine but them and their karmic situations as well um, so I just want to put that out there just for like the bigger picture but let's dive into your masculine's inner feelings towards you okay why are you always in their search history let's get some guidance from the romance angels why are you always in your divine masculine search history okay stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance okay so they could be trying to manifest you by staying optimistic something about looking at your pictures or fantasizing about you thinking about you two coming together in some kind of like whimsical way i feel like this is something your divine masculine may sit around and fantasize a lot about um they might have someone as well that knows when they're sitting back just fantasizing about you and because you're always in their search history um this person that's with them knows that they could be thinking about you quite a bit positive faith and thinking will bring you romance this tells me that someone who thinks about you a lot um there's optimi the optimism is created when they look at your pictures something about you too makes them feel like they could actually be in a in a authentic um romantic relationship okay i think that that is what is 
really pulling on this masculine right now is that why does the vibration between you and the person they're with feel so different and the divine feminine's presence i feel like is awakening this change coming from the masculines okay we have keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations i feel like that's why you guys have been friends for a really long time because or just like mutual or because you know you could be with someone as well who's very similar to you divine feminine and maybe your masculine is with someone who's very similar to them but i'm hearing keep an open mind because you two are exactly each other's type Okay, and we have chemistry as well. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. It's the very difference between you that's attractive or sexy <laughs> to each other. Okay, and that in itself too ends up bringing about certain lessons as well, which is why I feel like someone is definitely trying to provoke you here because they're highly triggered by your presence, Divine Feminine. Okay, um, mimicking your energy is something as well. I've been getting a lot coming through with... Um, the karmic collective okay trying to uh, cause provocation or trying to mimic your energy they, they want to do the same things that you do they want to appear as though um, they have your personality or they're celebrating the same things that you celebrate or they can go and um, be in the same places that you are and i feel like it's really a turn off for this divine masculine but they're just kind of silent about it and observing it from afar that's why you're always in their search history because i feel like because this karmic person knows about you they could you could be in this karmic partner search history all the time as well divine feminine okay they could be watching you and i feel i shared a reading about this previously i feel like it's the same energy coming out but like you could have a divine masculine who has someone that watches you a lot and subconsciously this person like they don't even realize they're doing it and i'm not like for many of you who have had had toxic experiences with karmics um like i'm not you know giving anybody right or wrong i just feel like they don't even realize that they're doing it as well sometimes like maybe some people are very vindictive and they will but i'm also hearing that sometimes like this karmic partner doesn't even realize that they may be doing things that are influenced by the divine feminine and because the masculine and feminine are connected strongly the masculine picks up on this okay and that is what makes them feel even more drawn to the feminines getting to know you okay as you reveal your innermost selves to one another your bond deepens um i feel like this, because you're always in their search history getting to know you as well by getting to know your pictures um if some of you are readers out there and you um you have like an online presence so you don't have to be a reader you could have another online presence elsewhere with many of you having um you know like your instagram accounts your facebook profiles i i feel like they're your masculine constantly tunes in they constantly tune in and i feel like you end up revealing deeper parts of yourself through your personality and the things you like and enjoy and i feel like your masculines can't help but fall in love with this okay you deserve love didn't i tell you guys your presence makes them feel like do I really have a shot at experiencing true love? And I feel like, yeah, because they deserve it. Okay, this is somebody who wants to express their love. But again, there is something in the middle here that there's something that's holding on to them. But I feel like it's your masculine's lesson to see that and to allow that to unfold. Um, but for the most part here, I do feel like it's a confirmation for many of you who suspect that this is exactly what's going on. And I feel like it is. Um, they're getting closer and closer to doing this, expressing their love, okay? Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And your masculines may at times feel that pull to do this so impulsively and strongly, but I feel like the more they feel that, the more you have someone here who's keeping an eye on the progress, okay? Um, all right, let's get your masculine's best course of action towards you at this time, Divine Feminine. In fact, before I do the tarot actually no you know what i'll go with my first instinct here okay what's your best what's your masculine's best course of action right now on this twin flame journey what do they need to be focused on okay okay well you deserve love i think is a strong message for your masculines at this time um so it's to really sit with that knowing and also to take action on that knowing okay so for the masculines you deserve true love okay because i'm getting also to like with a lot of your masculines um they're with someone who could be very superficial okay and it doesn't matter how much your masculine does material wise or um like with money it doesn't matter it'll it'll never be good enough for the person that they're with because of how superficial they are and i feel like your energy represents someone who 
you love your masculine aside from material things. You love them and they wholeheartedly know this divine feminine because they can feel it. They know what the vibration is like with you, okay? You're always in their search history because just looking at your picture alone brings them comfort. So that alone tells your masculines what they need to know. Um, but I feel like your masculine's best course of action is to pursue their heart's desires, which is an emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely, um, people you can trust, okay? So this trust thing is something that's really important to your masculines as well, which is why they could be very drawn to your energy. They could be in this place of settling down and what I mean by that is like feeling more comfortable with maturing, okay? So naturally, a lot of your masculines, if they don't have children, they could be craving that. And there's something about you that secretly they would love to do that with, but they can't. Right now, they're stuck with someone that they can't foresee that goal with. Um, and this may be a hidden desire of your masculines is to experience you deserve love. Um, you're lovable with your ten of cups, okay? Um, I'm also hearing too for the divine masculines, it's like, a lot of them may secretly crave what it's like to know the love of a child or to have a child love them or call them, you know, father, like dad. Um, I feel like a lot of your masculines are craving that experience, okay? We also have the eight of spring, stress that comes from having many things happening at once, successful multitasking, sudden events or changes, okay? So a lot going on for the divine masculines right now. Um, maybe a lot of big changes i did talk a lot uh, about in the last reading that many of them may be going through a lot um where you know big changes are happening promotions buying a new car moving into a new home um the birth of a child you know for some of you who have masculines in those situations you know these big things are happening but there's also the sadness that many of them are feeling because i feel like they could be lacking someone that they truly wish to enjoy that family experience with and true love okay um so let's get the feminine's best course of action and then i will wrap up the reading okay what is the divine feminine's best course of action here when it comes to this divine masculine who has you deeply in their thoughts okay so we have the four of autumn manage your resources wisely achieve a balance of how you spend and save money help out those who are less fortunate okay so i feel like our a lot of our divine feminines um part of why your masculine may watch you is again you could be somebody that they see themselves having far more stability with than somebody else you could be more balanced in the way that you spend and save um you would be a good equal partner to somebody your masculine could be with someone as well who relies on them solely to go out there and um you know really do the brunt of it um and on top of that, they're maybe non-appreciative or non-supportive at times. Okay, very superficial energy and your best course of action is to remain um, in this very focused energy when it comes to your resources, okay? Because this is something that someone may admire about you. We have 10 of pentacles, 10 of autumn, stability, and then we have completion here with the divine feminines. So take steps to ensure the financial security of children and other loved ones, making wise investments, planning for retirement, honoring family traditions okay so that again <laughs> this is something that your masculine may be attracted to secretly whether they say it or not depending on the lifestyle they're living on the outside i feel like what's hidden is somebody that craves a loyal partner who is focused on the same things that they are at heart okay so a lot of your masculines may be wearing a mask pretending that they're interested in this whole fast-paced bachelor life when really at the heart they're craving the family life okay we have 10 of winter the resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulders, the end of an addiction or codependency, okay? So they may love your independence, Divine Feminine. Um, I, f I feel like this coincides with the last reading I did. This is almost like a part two. Um, but something here that your masculine admires is like your independence, your need to be independent and not depend on anybody else. This could be, again, secretly um, letting you know that the person that they're with uh, heavily relies upon them and you may set this example of showing them what it's like to be sufficient in your own feminine energy and i feel like they may do a quite a, a, a fair share of comparing which is why this person may try to mimic your energy a lot divine feminine um but secretly i feel like a lot of your masculines are the ones who are really um kind of down like uh, uh, down on the front lines doing a lot of the hard work um Okay, and then we have the three of winter. Reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from this situation. Sadness that heals with time. Okay, so I feel like moving forward, Divine Feminine, 
Um, a lot of you could be releasing your divine masculine as they maybe choose to stay in the situation and because i do feel like with the ten of winter here coming up this could be the completion of the journey um like i said many of you are closed off and guarded to the connection because you want the sadness to heal i feel like for a lot of you many of your masculines chose to pursue something or someone and it turned out to be very superficial it could be a sad situation as well because um again they now have to watch you who at one point gave them that experience of true love um, if they've chosen the, again the materialistic path the 3d path of validation constant validation um, then you've got to move forward i guess divine feminine let it go detach okay but this will help you heal some of your own attachment issues and um, a sense of community you will grow stronger from the situation in terms of being able to let go okay because a lot of you by letting go you're seeing that you're finding the end of difficult situations maybe being codependent on the connection with your divine masculine waiting for some kind of union or waiting for some timeline um, i did mention as well in the past reading that union is really twin flames being in harmony with one another so by detaching the sadness will heal and then when you learn forgiveness for your divine masculines being in harmony with them is just being happy for them wherever it is they're at and vice versa they learn to just be happy for you wherever it is you're at versus constantly trying to um, be in this competitive energy okay so a lot of letting go for your divine masculines i feel but in their karmic situation but in order for that to happen the divine feminine has to let the divine masculine go all right guys so it doesn't mean it's the end of the connection it just means um, it's the end of like a cycle. That's why we've got we're getting the ten here. Okay, we have the ten of summer, ten of cups, ten of winter, ten of swords. All right, so uh, that's what I have for you guys. Me and Saucy love you. Take it easy, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.